Hi everyone, this is Carolina. Welcome to another Seasonal Saturday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put this treat holder together. And we're going to be using the True Love Stamp Set, Stamp TV Set from Gina K. This image in particular is going to be our base. And then I thought it'd be fun to do um, the to use the You're So Awesome um, sentiment for it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. You will need a piece of paper that measures four and one fourth by five and a half, folded in half so that you end up with a four and one fourth and two and three fourths piece of paper. And on the folded end is where you're going to stamp your image. You want to stamp off a little bit at the bottom so that you end up getting a nice fold um, look to it. Kind of similar to a purse. I guess it would be a little a treat holder or a little purse and just stamp it well. I'm using my Memento black tuxedo ink and then like I said align it towards the bottom on the fold end. Take your time with it to make sure that you capture a little bit of the bottom off your paper. That's why I put that other piece of paper underneath just in case we'd you know we got any ink it doesn't get on our table. Okay so it'll look like this. And now we want to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. You can open it up if you'd like, if you feel more comfortable with it. You can um, also use a stamp in a jig to align it right in the middle. I kind of like to eyeball it. Um, if you'd like to get more practice with it, you can also practice on a scrap piece of paper, but uh, just kind of go with it. And for the most part, it fits pretty good um, in the middle. Okay, and then once you have that stamp, you want to go ahead and cut it out. So it'll look like this once it's done. And um, let me zoom in right here. At the end, you'll see those little nips right there. You want to cut those out because you kind of want it to have it more of a straight edge um, on the ends. And then I like to just go through and ink it up so that all that white disappears from when you cut it. Um, you can also sponge it if you'd like the middle um, to make it to have it be a different color. Completely up to you. Okay, so once you're done with that, go ahead and open it up. Double-sided tape on either end. So I'm just putting one strip down. Then I'm going to go ahead and put another strip down on the other side. Okay, and then remove the backing on both ends. And then at this point, you also kind of want to get your ribbon ready because that's the next. That's going to be the next step. Okay, so go ahead and put your ribbon down on either end. Um, since I'm using ruffle ribbon, I wanted to keep the ruffles on the outside, on the outer edge, just to give a little bit um, more decorative statement to it. But it completely up to you as to whatever ribbon you can use or you want to use. You can also use twine. Um, pretty much anything you'd like, a piece of paper, if you don't have ribbon, you can just kind of make a loop and then that would work as well. But since I had pretty ribbon, I kind of went with that, okay? Putting more double-sided tape here on either side so that we can bring the front and uh, press it down. Okay, so I'm doing here, make sure you have a tight um, press on either side and trim some of the ribbon if you'd like. Um, you can leave it or trim it totally up to you again. Okay, so that's it pretty much. Now to do a little clutch, I thought we could use a little pearl. And now to decorate the bottom a little bit, I'm using a flower and a leaf. I couldn't find one, so I just kind of made one out of felt. Took a scrap piece of felt, my scissors, and then just kind of did an oval shape out of it, a typical leaf. D not No signs to it, no measurement, nothing. Just kind of eyeballed it again. Okay, and then because this will be handled a lot, and I'm assuming you're going to give it away, I thought um, hot glue gun would be the best way to adhere these. So just put a glop of glue in the front there. Add your leaf, So I'm doing here, and then your flower. And then that's it. That's our front of our little holder here. The, last, the next thing um, we want to do is just add our treat. And the way we do that is just go ahead and open it. Then you see what you do here. Because it's chocolate, you just don't want to smash it in there. Just kind of be, try to be as careful as possible. And then with that, we are done. I hope you have fun making these. And as always, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye.